Tonight, the United Auto Workers Union is turning up the heat on Detroit's big three automakers. The union is vowing to expand the nearly two week old strike unless it sees major progress in contract negotiations. UAW President Sean Fain is expected to detail a new round of strike targets across the country tomorrow at 9 a.m. Right now, more than 18,000 employees have walked off the production line. Striking workers are seeking big raises, as much as 40% and better benefits. So far, the automaker's best counteroffer is around a 20% pay bump. Well, Gordon Severson joins us now with how this ongoing strike could soon affect you and the car you're already driving. Gordon? Yeah, auto experts say the car dealerships were already in a tough spot before the strike. They had the chip shortage during the pandemic, supply chain problems, and a shortage of mechanics. And depending on how long the strike lasts, consumers could see fewer cars on the lot and longer wait times for repairs. Yeah! Auto workers have been on strike before, but not like this. This is the first time the unions have ever struck all three big Detroit manufacturers. I'm afraid this one could be a doozy, to be honest. Scott Lambert is the president of the Minnesota Automobile Dealers Association. He says the union also picked a unique target for the strikes this time around, hitting parts distribution centers. It's a way to get the consumers to feel some pain. They're trying to cause pain for the consumer. Lambert says the association and many dealerships are staying neutral in the strike. They saw it coming, so many stocked up on parts. He says traditionally, dealerships hold a 30-day supply of parts. Most have increased that supply to about 60 to 90 days. A good supply right now, but as the strike drags on, uh, it's going to be harder and harder to satisfy customers, and I think that's our big concern. Experts say consumers could see longer wait times and higher prices for repair work as dealerships work harder to find parts. Lambert says some consumers may be tempted to use generic or off-brand parts to get by, but that could create more problems down the road. Doing this yourself or using the wrong part could void somebody's warranties. So consumers have to be careful about what they, what they think they can get away with on their own. Lambert says the strike could also affect the number of new vehicles on car lots. He says dealerships traditionally try to have a 90-day supply of vehicles, but they haven't been even close to that since before the pandemic. Uh, right now, we're probably creeping up to a 30-day supply, uh, trying to get more, but the strike now is going to impact that. Now we could see an even greater impact on consumers depending on what plants the union adds to the strike tomorrow morning. Experts say right now dealerships can still get parts and new vehicles because production hasn't stopped completely, but that could change depending on what the union decides to do moving forward.